Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess today. How are you doing? Well, I would like, to, I decided, not, well, I would like and I decided <laughs> to alter a book. And I found this book at the thrift store. It's a little beat up, don't care. It's got a mark on it, don't care. It's cloth, love that. It's actually uh, J.R. Tolkien's The Fellowship of the Ring. And what I like about this book is it's, um, it's very square, not square, but almost square. It's a good size, so I like that. So what I've been doing, and it's, um, if you look at the binding, it's threaded, it's sewn. You can kind of see, uh, let's see if I can pick this up a little bit. You can see where there's a gap. See that gap right there? It's always good to have that gap, so it's easier to tear apart. But So what I've been doing is I've been kind of going through, I don't even, I don't really pay much attention. The only thing I pay attention to is I find a signature, See where you can see this signature right there? It's kind of a full signature, see that? I find a signature and then I find the middle of that signature and then I take out a couple. Like, it's easy that way and I take out this one. So, and then I move on and I don't, I'm not counting, I'm not looking, I'm, actually I took those, I took out too many in there because I've already been there I think, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna grab this one right now and take one out, and then I'm gonna move on a little bit. Just flip through a whole bunch. Let's see, what's this? We'll, we'll grab this one right here because it's kind of sticking out at me. And I'm gonna save these pages, actually. They're, it's kind of a nice little uh, glossy um, page. I don't know how it's gonna work in a in a altered book. I haven't altered a book in a long time, so I, um, I'll show you the book that I found that has inspired me, and um, I have so many books, you guys, that I pick up at the thrift stores. Um, how-to books, you know, like how to make um, silk flower, not silk flowers, but let's see, I have uh, Painted Blossoms, I think, yeah, I bought that one. A Collage and Lee, I bought that one, I think. Um, oh, just a bunch of different ones. Creative Awakenings, Love to Cover, Book Bindings. To, to, I'm looking up and reading them as I'm telling you. Oh, this didn't look good. Let's see how am I gonna fix that. Uh, well, we're not. We're just going to roll with it, okay? Not a big... Oh, here. Not a big deal. Let's just grab that. I'm trying to avoid this, though, so that's okay, though. Okay. Not a big deal if that happens, so... But I, I do like what I was doing. I was finding a signature and then finding the center. That made it really easy to um, get things out. So it's, is this the center? No. Which is good, because I actually like that. Let's see. Okay. Here's another binding. Let's start with this one. So this is the center. You can kind of see this, the, the uh, thread. <sighs> Don't you have to take too much. I'm not gonna like, but you'll see where it makes it really kind of nice and loose. So you know, they said uh, paint adds thickness, so you don't want to do that. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I hope you guys want to find a book and play with me. Um. They had some really neat books at the thrift store, but I, I don't, it's so hard for me to pick. I wanted them all, <laughs> you know? I want them all, but you can't alter them all, and you can't afford them all. So, you know, moving on. I just picked a few, and, and um, yeah. So what's everybody been up to? I have been um, busy, busy. We got lots of things planned and lots of things to do. Look how much I've already torn out. So, quite a bit. So, quite a bit. Well, yeah, that's quite a bit, relatively speaking. Isn't that pretty? So, yeah. This book that I'm going to show you says pick a theme and do a theme, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just, because I'm so new at mixed media art and stuff that I don't, I don't have a, I don't have a style yet. I mean, I guess I could pick a theme like grunge or something, but I don't want to do a whole book one theme because I, I like to jump around. I get bored. So I'm just going to do art pages, you know, and I will play in the book every once in a while and I'll whip out an art page. And I have got so many um, different um, wonderful s supplies that everybody's gifted me that I just want to use up my supplies. I like this book. I love how it feels. You know, when I picked it up, I loved the cover. It says, if there's something about the book, and I love how it lays kind of flat. <laughs> it's nice. So, 
So yeah. And then I mean I'm not I might I'm not saying I'm done. This is all I'm gonna rip out. I might rip out oopsie more. Yeah, well, we're gonna take a whole bunch. Well, let's not. Let's take it at one at a time. One ciggy at a time. There we go, because it's cleaner that way. So, um, yeah. Oh, it was 100 degrees outside today, you guys. 100 degrees. But I was in sewing all day. I'm working on so many projects, and I can't wait to show you this project I'm working on, but it'll be a while until it's done, and it's a surprise. I have a feeling a lot of you are going to love it. So, but it's taking a long time to do. And it's just something I wanted to do. And uh, I can't wait to show it and share it. It'll be fun. And then I'm going to start, I have a little binding thing that I found, a zetter or a zooter. I found for a pretty good deal. Wait, no, something's going on here. Yeah. And so I'm going to be binding a bunch of stuff here pretty soon. Different kind of books. I'm, I'm think I'm finding what I like the most about mixed media, and I do think it's books, books and art books and journaling and those kind of things. I think that's what I like. So, yeah. So that's where my, I'm I'm kind of finding my, and I love painting papers. <laughs> love them. Love, love. I have a love, love relationship with painting papers. Love, love, love. Love, love, love. So, you guys will see a lot of painting papers coming out of me. <laughs> Pretty. So I'm wondering how the paint was gonna play on this, on these, on this book, but we're gonna find out because I'm gonna. I have some new paint that I want to. I just want to test it, so we're gonna play with it. I'm not gonna make a page, I'm just gonna test it. Probably shouldn't do that, but I'm gonna. We might make a page, I don't know. I don't know. Heck, I don't know. I didn't read this book, or any of these J.R. Tolkien Lord of the Ring books. I didn't get into those movies, I didn't get into the books. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a full, I, you know, and the funny thing about it is, is I was a major Star Trek fan growing up. I mean, who wasn't, right? We all loved Captain Kurt and Spock and, um, the Doc and all those guys. But, you know, after that, after I grew up, I just never got into it anymore. So, I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, we're going to take this one. And then we're going to take this one clean it up with some. Is that right? Uh, something was funky about that. It's almost like it was ripped before. Did I do that? I don't know. All right, that's good enough for now. So, and the binding, look at this. Binding might need some work. Definitely needs some work. I saw it right here. So there's some binding work that needs to be done. But I don't care. The more it falls apart now, see? See the little, like, spaces and stuff that was ripped out? And, that, you know, it's not half as big as it was. I mean, this much paper is out of there now, so I think that's quite a bit. So, and I will save this paper. But here's the book that I found. I don't know how old it is. Altered Books Workshop by Bev Brazelton. And it is copyright 2004, so it's really, I mean, not that old. But I fell in love with it. I just fell in love with it, and so, ooh. I got some of these paints today. Did I? The mirror? Is that what I thought? No, I got these today. But this is a silk acrylic glaze. And I got it for $1.75 at that store. It was regularly $6.99, you guys. I got the blue. You guys, I went back to that store today. Com true confession here. And I picked up some more stuff. I had to. And I got this one. Oh my God, for $1.75. This is a acrylic glaze. Clear, oh that's cool, and then that one, which is Majestic Blue, and then this one which is Key Lime. I thought that was beautiful. Um, these are all, all $1.75, and then one more, because I've never worked with glazes before. I have no idea, and then Evening Prim, prim look at this gorgeous, Feast Your Eyes. $6.99, I got it for a dollar, 
75. You guys, I spent too much. That's where I got the Zooter machine too. So I got a Zooter for a duh, couple hundred bucks. Yeah, lie. I got it for $25. So yeah, and so I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff with you guys. So the reason why I went back today because I saw her, she said use glaze on your books. And look how pretty, apply out of glaze. And so we're going to do that. We're going to start with it. We're going to just kind of play that game. I just want to see how glaze works. So um, another thing she said is, is have two books to one to kind of practice in and one to do. But I don't work that way. I, I, I don't, I'm not a practicey person. This is practice. So I'm going to go ahead and just try it on a page and then we'll do it in here. So let's do it. Let's, let's see what glaze looks like. Let's start with some glaze, you guys. On our, and I don't know anything about it. Do you have to, let's see. Shimmer, shine, twinkle. Silks, acrylic glaze. Cleans up with soap and water. Wipe rim of jar before storing so lid won't stick. For tutorials, projects online, look, you can go to dream, dreamingcolor.com. Um, like, how do you, what do you, I mean, how do you, I don't know. Well, let's just look. What's it look like? What's this stuff look like? Watch it be all dried up. Wouldn't that be horrible? So if you get it for $1.75 and it's all dried up, that's not a great deal. Well, it's not, but it's half a jar. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see if I like it. I just want to see what glaze is like. Is it supposed to be a half a jar, though, you guys? You know, maybe it was used there. I don't know. Let's see what this one looks like. These are old. Oh, that's a half a jar too. So maybe that's supposed to be that way. I don't know. Adjusted glue, I better put that. Which one's which? Evening primrose, is this evening primrose? Oh no, yeah, it's gotta be. Well, I think they have to, well, we'll see. Well, let's start with the majestic blue and I'll just get a little paint in a little water and I will be right okay, back. Okay, so I found an image and I'm not sure about it, but it's good. This is a cute image too though, it's more realistic. I like that one. She looks like she's wearing, carrying slippers. Anyway, I don't know what I'm doing. And I found this gesso that some my a girlfriend from work gave me actually. And I don't know, this is really shiny kind of paper. So I'm gonna try one side without um, the gesso and one side with the gesso. So let's go ahead and put some gesso on here first. Well, I guess I can just use this big brush. Why not, you know, just use a big brush. I don't know what I'm doing, you guys. I should, I should actually take a paint class that says, this is what you use this brush for, this is what you use that brush for. But you know what, I don't like to do that. I'm, I'm, ow, I just used my teeth, uh-huh, I did that. Um, I don't know. As a matter of fact, sometimes I don't even like to watch too many other artists do stuff because <laughs> because I don't want to know. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Like, that's really awful. I should try to figure out how to do things the right way instead of just, you know, the make a mess way. You know, someday I'll care. But Okay, so this is going to be the gesso side, and it's going to dry really fast because I didn't put very much on there, which is fine. And this is going to be the not gesso side. And uh, I don't even know if I'm going to use this image. I'm not. It's not really speaking to me. I'm just. I just want to actually just see what this stuff does. So, do you? Uh, for paper, wood, fabric, clay, and more. Extended. I guess you don't have to use much of it. Maybe. I mean, it, maybe it's, that's why it's so. You know. Or is it all dried up? If it's all dried up, I will take it back because you can't. I mean, even if you. I mean, I don't know. So let me just check this out. I'm gonna put a little bit of water on this brush. No, I don't like this brush. Let me try a different brush. This brush, all right? I need one that's probably not wrecked. Let's see how this one feels. I don't have the best brushes in size. But, I mean, I have some good brushes, but I just don't know which one to use. Maybe this one? Yeah, this one maybe. Let's try this one. Okay, that's the gesso side. So let's just put some collage on here real quick. 
you know, let's just, let's just tear some paper up and put it on there, shall we? All right. Mm. Hold on. Hold the phone. So this is some of the stuff that I got recently, and this is the book that uh, somebody sent me recently, and you will see where I got this tomorrow. Yes, I I did my, um, what to wear hopeful hands. That's cute. I'm going to save that for something else I'm working on. I am going to save that for something else I'm working on, so let me just take that over right there. Love this paper. Love, love, love. Okay. It tears very nicely. Let's get the white off. There you go. Mm hmm. <laughs> That was smart. I ripped my paper. We don't care. We don't care. Never forget that time is precious to some persons, though you may be ready to waste it. Never fail to settle all debts as promptly as possible. This is etiquette on business. Never buy on cash, credit if cash to be had. Never adopt a disagreeable manner when requesting a payment of a debt. Never fail to be courteous in all business intercourse. Ooh. A pleasant manner will do much to ensure success. Never insist upon entering any business office if told that its occupant is not at is not at leisure. Oh my gosh. Never address a letter to a firm in any way except Messrs. John Smith and Company Gentlemen. Isn't that funny? Anyway, okay. I love. I like looking at how people actually uh, did behave when we had uh, class, right? Remember that? When was that? I don't know. All right, I'm just gonna stick a little bit in here. Just. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna play a little bit. So, what should I use? I'm just gonna use. Um, glue stick because it's handy and um, I don't have any uh, gel medium which is a lot of people use that but it's expensive have you looked at the price of gel medium you guys like really have you looked I was like, I was like whoa that's expensive so put that up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing although it's not that wonderful it's just something I'm trying I'm gonna just try to play a little bit So remember, this is the gesso side, non-gesso side, and this is the non-gesso side over there. So I guess I'll put some tape on some on here as well. Just to see how it goes, you know. This paper is ripping very, very straight, almost too straight, but that's okay. Bossy scoot. A little bit of something, something going on here. Let's do this. Cover up my rip. Right? I don't know. There we go. I need one more piece because I don't like this even this even number. There we go. Oh, I was gonna put some of this. Oh, 
Oh, I have two pages here. Wow. Basically, I'm just trying to put something down to see what happens when I uh, put that paint on it. I don't know what this glaze does. Then I bought some crackle paint, which I know you can put glue in crack and paint and make it crackle. I haven't done that in a while, but I know that you can. I know that it's a thing. I have done it. it works pretty good. This is looking pretty, pretty even, pretty, pretty even. Or not too even, I guess I should say. All right, let's put some of this that in the junk jar for later. Junk jar fodder is right here. Very good to have. Little pieces of that. Okay, so this is dry pretty good. I mean, good enough. And um, so it's too hot for me to get out my blow dryer. That's the next thing I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy a heat gun. <laughs> I still haven't bought a heat gun, you guys. Isn't that funny? I don't know why. Wow, that would have been great if they would have had a heat gun for sale at that place. You know what they had? They had a, a die cut machine. Normally six, no, normally $295 for $75. Like a cricket. I was like, ugh. But I just, I'm not a, I mean, I, I can do without die cuts, but I really, you know, I mean, I can't do without them without them, but I just really wanted the um that zutter or zooter i don't know how to say it but i will be showing you that soon as soon as i figure it out i'm really looking forward to binding some books on that thing for fun so yeah okay so what are we gonna do we are going to just um make a mess which is fun stuff did i get this way yet i don't remember so, I guess I should have actually looked online to see what I'm supposed to do with this because I have no idea. Okay, so we have blue and we have green and we have clear and we have purple. I'm just going to go with the blue and the green and the purple, those three, today just to play. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Are you supposed to use your finger? Are you supposed to, you know, I don't know. Let me see. It pour, It doesn't even pour. Like, I wonder how long this has been on the shelf. Oh, you guys, it's as hard as a rock. It's as hard as a rock. Is it not? I don't think it's supposed to be as hard as a rock. Is it? Well, I'm going to go ahead and keep it and just... Look at it, it's pretty. I, I'm going to keep it. I'll just add water to it and... Try to find it online, and because I really wanted to try it, but I don't know. I mean, it is a dollar seventy-five, so I'm getting some good color. Of it. It's pretty. I actually like it. So maybe it's not supposed to be like that. Maybe that's why it was a dollar seventy-five. So I'm not going to complain. I'm really not because um, I just wanted to see. You know? Yeah. I am fine with it. But I'm telling you what, if I can get some good stuff, I will. If I can get some, you know. It's pretty, huh? not awful. I mean, I'm sure it would look, look better if it was not all dried up and ruined. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't look when I bought it. Because mm -hmm. I don't know anyway. So I don't know anyway. I'm not going to fret. It's 
For $1.75, it's nice to try it. I wonder if I just put some water in it. If anybody knows, let me know. If you just put some water in it, would that work? Oh, this one's a little bit thinner. So, yeah. Probably some of you see some people are going, oh, that's so sad. She doesn't know what she's doing with that. You're right, I don't. But I like what I like this look, so I'm not hating. I'm I'm I think I'm gonna like a glaze. I really do. So this is a fun test. And you know what? I don't know if I can tell a major difference between the gesso side and the not gesso side. So just saying, I don't know. But I do like these glazes. I think they're pretty. Really pretty. What do you guys think? You like them? I love the translucence of them. Um, would I have spent, I don't know if I'd spent $6.99 on them, um, but maybe I would. I don't know. You know me, I don't know. I don't know. So let's let this dry. And then we'll just kind of roll with it and see how uh, see how it is to like draw on maybe. Let's try that just for some kicks, just to do something a little creative and fun. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, I'm back. Can I just, I want to put a side note in here really quick that I actually love this gesso so much. I've never used it before. I might have used it once or twice, but didn't realize it, that I love this Liquitex, Liquitex gesso more than the, uh, ba is it the basics one? Um, hold on, let me show you the other one that I normally, it, this one is really gritty. Um, oh, heck, I don't know where it is now. Um, oh, here, hold on. This one, yeah, Liquitex Basic. Why is this one so much more uh, gritty than this one? I don't know why they're the same company, but this one just feels a lot smoother to me than this one. I don't know why, so surface prep. I don't know. If anybody knows the reason why, let me know. But this one really felt a lot. Oh, because this one's a Basics, maybe. Maybe the Basics brand isn't the good brand of the bait. I don't know. So just FYI, and by the way. All right, so I wanted to play some more with some of the other stuff that I bought today. I told you. about a lot. And so I got these Distress Stains, and I opened them up so you didn't have to look. But I got these for $1.25. <laughs> Let's see if they work, right? So I got some Distress Stains for $1.25. I think this was $1.50, it's like a dauber too. And then this spray was, oh gosh, $1.25, $1.50. I don't know, it was $1.25 or $1.50, you can see that everything was, everything was marked down cheap. And now we know why, but it's okay. You know, at least I'm getting to try it a little bit and see how it goes. So I'm just adding to my, see I have some sprays here and I already have some of this distress paint. I love it. I don't use it very often, but I wanted to play. So I wanted to add to that today. So let's just see. So we're gonna, we've got this twisted citron. So let's try that and do a few. I'm gonna do a few daubs and then I wanna go ahead and journal on this page a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to, um, or even if I'm going to use an image at all. Uh, just playing by ear, you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and daub over some onto here first to see how it goes. So yeah, I'm just gonna make a big mess of it. So you have to get it ready. Ooh, oh look at that! I love it. So let's do that. Let's do that. You smush down a couple times, and then you just splat. That one didn't splat very good. There we go. That's great. One right there. That's awesome. That turned out. I love this Citron. That's pretty. And this is Rusty Hinge, not gonna go on this page. This is Hickory Smoke, not going on this page. And I'm not sure, why is this? I don't know what this is all about. It's the same thing, but it's, I don't know why it's different. Oh, this is like a, not maybe the same thing, but a little, maybe just a, you know, like a, a paint. I don't know, I don't know. Ooh, it doesn't smell very good. Why did I have to do that? But. Yeah, whatever. Okay, well that's that. That'd be good for some kind of a thing. And then this is 
blueprint sketch. I bet you this is going to be great. Let's see what that one looks like. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. That one's cool. Let's get it going again. Isn't that neat? Pretty. So I got that one. And then we're just going to let these dry. And this is, I got another Twisted Citron. And then Bundled Sage. Let's see what that one's doing. That one's a little, that's not so bad. But a little bit hard. Oh, but, <laughs> there we go. Let's get some going here. There, it's a nice big splat. Let me see if I got any other colors over here that I have to have. Aged Mahogany, no. Um, shaded Lilac might look pretty on here. That's one of the colors I've already got. There. Ooh, did you see that perfect splat? Why couldn't I do that over here? Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Just a couple. Shaded Lilac. We've got Walnut Stain. Um, sponge Sugar, no. That Sponge Sugar, I remember being really light. Old Paper, no. Milled Lavender. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> I'm really not wearing a paint shirt, you guys. Not even. But that's okay. okay. What do we got here? We got dried mer no I ooh the lid on that was Ooh, I loved this peacock. This will look beautiful on here. Okay. I don't know if I like that really right now. Let's soak it up a little bit. There we go. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. You better stand back. You got to get some good leverage. Pretty. I love that peacock. That's pretty, huh? And this is Stormy Sky. Let's do that right here. And then we'll let this dry, guys. And then we'll come back and we'll do a little journaling on it. And there we go. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look at, look at, look at. You got to see this. <laughs> I wonder if I can. Here, 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 here. Ooh, ooh. ooh boy, did we make a mess. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, my word. Uh, is this ink? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we're rolling with it, you guys. At least we saved some of it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's okay. It scared me. <laughs> scared me more than anything. Okay, so let's move this over here and get a new piece of paper. Yeah, we saved the art page though. Did you see that? Saved by the saved by the That's okay. That's all right. Clean enough for me. Good enough. So what's going on with this? Like, let's see what happens if I, is it gonna, is it gonna do it again? Or what did I just push too much? What is this color? Stormy sky. Oh, it's so wet, you guys. Here, it's just so wet. There we go. Okay, let's just try to soak some. Yeah, let's grab some off of here and Perfect. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Right? Well, let's just roll with that. And then uh, I kind of need another paper towel. I'll just use this. 
Well, let's just let that dry. Look at this. Isn't that, wasn't that hilarious? Oh, funny, funny. Okay, I'll be back and let this dry. Wash my hands, be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I actually had dinner and I am going to try something new. So I thought, well, I'm gonna try it with you guys. So I have this book. Oh, I have to get it down. Uh, these mixed media girl faces. And so I'm gonna trace one. Well, not trace, but I'm gonna look at one and do it. Like, try to do it, right? So let's just pick one. I'm not even worried about which one. Cause I just want, like, I just want some basics. So let's do it. And I'm going to use a regular old pencil. And I'm gonna just go from here. I know, brave, right? Should I do the blue side or the, let's just do the blue side, why not? So I'm gonna make a, make a, um, a round face, kind of like so. It's really round. Okay, so there's my really round face. I know, brave, brave of me, right, right now? I know, so brave. But I'm getting tired of not doing these faces. So I think, though, what I'm gonna do is get out a ruler and try to find the middle very lightly and do the thing, right, right. You don't you go in half for the, and then another half, and then, I don't know. Is that right? Let's see. Yeah, it's good enough. All right, so let's draw some eyeballs. And they're about the same width apart, right? Is that the deal? I like them closer to the edge, though. See how close they are to the edge of her face? So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna go like that, and like that. And then we're gonna go like that. I know, I don't know what I'm doing, but I want a face. <laughs> I want a face, and I'm gonna make a face. Okay, so we're gonna make an eyelid and an eyelid. I'm gonna do it in a hurry. And this is a little, little, a little more, I don't know. It's not gonna be far from perfect. I don't know now. I do love to try to draw, but I get so frustrated because I think I should just know how to do it. Isn't that weird? Isn't that really strange? So let's make an eyeball. Her eyeballs are touching. Sometimes they don't touch on both sides, you know what I mean? But we're gonna do it the way this is. Make it touching. And, and then we're gonna make an eye, eye, a pupil. And a pupil. And then her little nose down here is just gonna be one of these things, right? Just a little thing like that. And then her little lips are gonna be, I do that. I've seen people do this and then this. I know you can't see what I'm doing, you guys, but I'm sorry. You will wanna put the red on there. Like, close enough. I just want something, something. And then let's get some hair on here. Oh, let's make a neck. A long neck. She has short neck, but I like the long neck. We're gonna make a long neck. And we're gonna make a, uh, I don't know what we're gonna make. Just a dress, that's what we're gonna make. Like so. And then her arms, my girl's arms, are gonna go in the back, because I have no idea what I'm doing, so. All right. Right? Why not? So crooked, so fine. Let's get rid of the lines. And then, her splat is right in the middle of her mouth. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. That's okay. Should we give my girl some long hair too? 
Yeah. Okay, well, that's sticking out way too far. Look how this paint is letting me erase off of it. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's just go with that. That's pretty cool. Her face is awful. There we go. Alright, I just a little something. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's get some um something. kind of rolling with whatever I got here. So we're going to bring this in around front now. We're going to bring it like that. So our hair is going to come in the front on this side. I don't know. Okay. So now let's find some... What should we use? Pencils? Should we try some pencils? Um... Oh, look. She's got little flowers. We should do that, but no. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do some um, pencils. Well, this is awful. What's with me and all my dried up supplies today? <laughs> we have Tombow markers, but that's not what I'm feeling. So let me grab some. Do I have some? Hold on one second, guys. What I have? Ink tense pencils. Let's do it. So she's crooked, and we don't we don't care, right? And her face doesn't have to be so perfect. I wish I knew how to draw. <laughs> I really did. Okay, so what do we got here? I don't have any sharpeners for these. So, hmm. Let's go with red because my daughter's a little redhead. We'll start there. You know, why not? You guys, I'm drawing. Can you believe it? I can't. I cannot believe I'm actually drawing in front of you. I don't ever draw, so whether it's in front of you or not, I can't believe I'm actually doing it at all. Anyway, that is really <laughs> so unfortunate, you all right? Oh, that's hilarious. That's okay. So if I do this, and then I can, I can, um, I can't I use a little uh, paintbrush and mush it up? How ink tends to pour, like, sort of? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I have more paint here. I think I need another, I need another towel. Well, I'll just use this one. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I just want to try it really quick. Oh, yeah. See? That's cool. That's way cool. The ink tents are permanent. So. That's fun. So I've been thinking lately about doing some of that, um, what do you call it, primitive art. I thought that would be kind of fun. Do some primitive art. I'm trying to get rid of her shoulder there so we don't see it. You know, naive art, I think, is what it's actually called, you guys. Naive art. That would be fun. A little redhead. My daughter went golfing today with her dad. She said she did good. We, uh,. We have a lot to think about with her college and stuff, you know. Just because she golfs doesn't mean it's she's a, automatically going to get a, you know, in. So, um, yeah, that's what people think, but it's not. It doesn't work that way. So, I wish this was sharper.
make her green. Green eyed, green eyed girl. Hers are dark. Mine are gonna be green. And if I need a little white dot, I can just add like a sharpie. I think I've got a white pencil somewhere. I need a smaller little brush. I'm probably gonna be all embarrassed after I put this up online, you guys. Just be you're but you're the nicest people in the world, so I'm not totally worried about it. You know what I mean? I'm really not because you are so nice. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of like this. I need to outline it, but I don't have um, that black is awful. So I need an ink. I need an ink tense um, sharpener. I guess I should go to Blick. Have you guys heard of Blick or Amazon? And this isn't gonna try to be perfect, so. Actually, I wish I had like a, do I have like a beige um, blush tone? I bet I do in the watercolor one, but let me do the red lips real quick. Let's do some red lips real quick. Am I in the way? Sorry. Well, it's not very red. Shouldn't, let's put this red. I think we'll use this on the red, and then we're going to darken up her hair with that other red. Yeah, that's what we should have done. <laughs> I can't get over where that splat is. It's actually quite funny. Right? Oh, nice crooked eyebrows. Mmm, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's terrible, what I just did. I don't know. That's good. I'm leaving it because I'm I'm a me this is where it gets really dicey for this kid. Why don't I find some blue though and just kind of do a little bluey? Should we? What is she? Oh yeah, she's got some blue there. Let's do that. Let's do that. I can't believe I'm actually drawing a face. I'm so excited I'm drawing a face and everybody's looking. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. Let's just add some color right there. Like, let's smoosh it. Just smoosh that color right there a little bit. There we go, that's better. <laughs> yeah, just messy, just, you know, it's the thought. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna add some little depth into her hair a little bit. Like, look at me, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. This isn't dark enough, but. Maybe some dark brown would have been okay, but that's all right, we'll just leave it. All right, so there's that. Now let's do her dress. What color shall we make her dress? Let's make it green to go like with these flats. And then I'll kind of outline it a little bit. What do you think of my girls, you guys? <laughs> Shush. Be nice. See, I know that I'm safe here, and that's why I can do this. I'm safe. 
you guys aren't gonna mean me too bad. There's a couple people out there that might go, oh my gosh, what is she trying to do? <laughs> Give me a little thumbs down, but that's okay. That's okay with me. Works, it works. This is definitely a mixed media piece, I'd say. Wouldn't you? And look how fast I work, you guys. I'm just crazy fast. I don't, I just don't have the time to stand, sit around and, uh, I'm not a detail-oriented person, but that's what I like about me. <laughs> you know, I actually like that about me. You know, I don't need to be, I don't like to be a perfectionist. I'm just, I can't play that way. What's this? This is a deep indigo. So let me get a little uh, glue stick here. I better get to a Dollar Tree and get some glue stick before, before it's all gone. <laughs> right? Here we go. All right, let's let this dry a little bit and then I'm gonna... Let's see. Is this the black one? Or is this, this is the black one. I need it. That's charcoal gray. This is outliner. This is a good one. I just, I wish I had like a black, just a black pencil. Maybe I should use a fine liner, like a black eye. I think I will. Look how fat her face looks. How come mine isn't as cute as that? Because I didn't make it as round. <laughs> oh, she needs pink cheeks. She needs pink cheeks. That'll help the splat. Not, but. Oh, yeah, she needs pink cheeks. What am I thinking? I better move this or I'm going to wreck it. And Susie Blue will say, that girl, that girl on the internet, she's ruining my stuff. Oh, that's cute. That's fine. They're too big. That's fine now. What do you guys think? Is it funny? Let's use this deep indigo. Is that what I was doing? This kind of outline. And I think I want to go ahead and make it messy with a pen with this, actually. I love it. Well, I think our new art book is off to a good start, don't you? Just for fun. She's a little bland, but hey, it's an art girl. I did an art girl, sort of. I cheated a little pin, but that's okay. Let's try to find that white Sharpie. I just... I don't know what it is. What's this? Oh, that's black. Ooh, that's nice. Well, this is a nice marker. Should keep that handy. What's this one? It's a blender, I don't know. What color is this orange? Somebody gave me a white pen and I can't find it to save my life. Here's a white one, I think. No? Oh yeah, here's a white one. That's good, right? I'm gonna try to find the... Where'd that one go? Just hold on. Is this one I just had? No.
can't see. It's the glare, you know. Just a little more outlined there. That's better, huh? Oh my god, my lips are awful. Awful. Ah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay, I did. So there we go, just enough. Okay. Oh. Well, what do you think? I don't even know what to think. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm not gonna outline her, she's fine. I like how she just kinda blends in. I love where that splat is, that's funny. I don't like lining her lips, that was a mistake, but that's okay. But let's go ahead and give her a belt. Like some kind of a, like a belt. A little thin belt. think I think she's done so we're gonna leave it at that I'm gonna keep these out because these are cool pens I'm gonna stick them over here oh I probably just lost that one forever it died down inside there okay let me put them over here Don't lose them. okay and now I just want to put these away because I do like these pens and want to keep them nice um, I think these were kind of expensive, these ink tents, like 30 bucks or something, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure. I don't use them very often. This is the first time in, I don't know, forever. So, but I do need a sharpener. If I had a sharpener, I'd be a happy camper. I will do that. Keep that on there so that they don't fall. So what do you think? Whose is better? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. I'm going to ow, pull up, excuse me, my Tombos. These are Tombos. And just do a little bit of writing. Because that's just what this page is calling for, so I don't even know. Maybe I'll just write on this side. Or, oh, I know, I'll write like this. Know what I mean? Okay, so that's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna write going this way. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Why is her? I don't want that to be a spot. I don't want that to be a spot. No spot, go away. There we go. I love that that I can do that and fix it. It's not terrible, is it, you guys? <laughs> I'll just don't compare it to anybody. I don't want to spray now. I want to spray it with this. I'll do that after I um, do my my writing. Okay.
says, art has given me such pure joy. I love playing and making a huge mess. How about if I just write first art page in this book? No, that's not good. How about... Just let go and have fun. There we go. And what's the date today? I'm just going to write. Is it July still? There we go. So that's that. That's my first art page in my book. And I really got to say, <laughs> it's a mess. But I love it. I had so much fun. Oh, wait. I want to squirt. This is called Lucky Chunk Clover. So it's probably really green. And I just want to squirt. I just really want to make a mess with it. So let's just do it. See what happens. There we go. Perfect. Love it. All right. Oh, that's great. Wait. Right there. All right, so, okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a great time doing it, for sure. I'll pull it down so it just has a little bit of shade on it right there. There we go, you can see it a little bit better. And um, that was a lot of fun. She looks like I was about two years old, but it was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Get out your um, paints and your markers and your, and just have, have a good time. I, I, I hope you guys um, do. Okay, just go make a mess. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.